right, so we have our official introductions. Welcome to America, America's Champion Cup presented by the Fernando Foundation. I'm Javier Munoz, and I'm here by, joined by Dakota Smith with Xable.com and FitFa. This is a FitFa event. It's sponsored by EDF and Invacare. We're about to get started with our second game. Dakota Smith joins me after an awesome victory, 5-0, scoring two goals to defeat the first Canadian team, Vancouver Lightning. Uh, now, joined on the court, we have two teams. Rollers! Whoa, rollers fired up. <laughs> Say hi, Dakota. Hi. Hi, x <laughs> Dakota Smith. One of the greatest players of power soccer in my hand. I have some information about two teams. You want to introduce the teams for us, Dakota? Yes. Uh, from the Okanagan Thunder Chairs, we have Daniel Cunningham, number 99, Harry Hutton, number 32, Jonathan Crossland, number 16, Nick Croft, number 17, and Alex Carey, number 10. All right, so Okanagan. Sorry. Thunder chairs. Okanagan, yeah. Okanagan. From British Columbia. I heard it's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. Um, it sounds like it would be, you know, lots of fall colors, really festive. Nice. Let's see how their power yeah. soccer game is. <laughs> that's what we care about, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, and of course, we're joined by oh, a team yeah. that's about to score a goal already. I'm sure. Goal! Circle City! We haven't even got through the introductions. <laughs> 45 seconds in, and it's a goal for Circle City. Do we know who scored that goal? Uh, I believe 32? it was 32. Oh, we Archer. don't know who that guy that's is. That's Michael Archer. That's Michael Archer, that's right. Surprise, surprise. He opens up the tournament with a goal. All right, so Circle City Rollers. Let's go through their introductions really, really quickly, because they're going to score another goal. <laughs> Unbelievable. Case Colvert. With a goal, one minute and 18 seconds in, we have two goals. 33, 32 assists, 15 with the goal. Uh, wow. That was uh, Case and Michael. They work pretty well together. They score a lot of goals together. Well, it's about teamwork apparently, and uh, they have it. They're working really, really hard. Yeah. So we've introduced them by scoring goals. <laughs> Circle City, Michael Archer, number 32. Stud, all around amazing player. Probably the best player in the world. Safe I, to say that? I, yeah, I would agree with that. I would have to. High praise, but he's a high player. Another goal about to get scored. Goal. Three nil. Are you serious? Two minutes and six yeah. seconds in, yes. Wow. Goal. <laughs> Goalie comes out, gets deeped. Ball goes right by him, number 32, Michael Archer with two goals in less than three minutes. That's insane. It took me an entire game to score two goals. So if you guys don't know, just so everybody knows, Circle City Rollers, national champions of the U.S. region, here to dominate is what I was told. Uh, let's go through their, their announcements as well. Case Colbert, number 15. Grace Kessler. Kessler which I was told is one of the best players as well. She's not even on the floor. Uh, Matt Griffin, number 21. Looks like he's on the floor right now. Uh, Jake Bray, number seven in at goal. Ha doesn't look like he has much work right now. <laughs> Kevin Perry, number 39, also. And uh, they're led by the fearless leader, Mike Hayes. Intimidating, intense, all business, Mr. Mike Hayes. Yeah. Listen for those special whistles. They mean something. Every whistle means something is what they I tell do. Let's see if they we can do. figure them out. One whistle means I, I something. I haven't figured it out yet. I know that. Uh, Michael Archer with a blast across. Goal! Assist from Michael Archer to Case. He likes to be called by Case is what I was told. Yeah. Soon to graduate from college. 1532 on the assist. <laughs> 1532 on the assist is what we're told. I have a feeling we're going to hear that a lot. Is that right? <laughs> what do you think? 4-0, uh, 3.45 in. I'd say there's, there's going to be a few more throughout the game. Is that right? So 4-0 sure. isn't enough. No. Mercy rule maybe in play? I don't believe Sir 
Mexico City uh, takes mercy. They play hard, they play fast. They do. They're on top of it. I like it. Every moment is an opportunity to score a goal. Yeah. Michael Archer, captain of the team, dominating in the middle. Has a huge guard that extends out further than most. You think that helps them a little bit in the game? I think it does. It gives them um, an edge on the defense to be able to cover that much space. Tough to get around such a huge chair. Absolutely. And of course, he's no slouch with the joystick as well. <laughs> it moves pretty quickly in and out. One of the best one-on-one -on -one players and of course, one of the best on-the-ball strikers. Definitely. Passes off to Case towards the middle. Are we looking at another goal possibly? All right, they're moving, maneuvering the ball. Uh, less than five minutes in the game, and we're at 4 0. We, uh, we barely got a chance to meet the Okinawan Thunder Chairs. <laughs> wow. Shot on goal by Michael Archer. Put a scare in the Okinawa Thunder Chairs. Looks like they're about to score again, maybe? No, goal kick for the Okinawa Chairs, Thunder Chairs. All right, so quick facts. Maybe we can get through this. Beautiful BC Okinawa Valley. Like we talked about, it's a beautiful place. Uh, three towns, eight players. Uh, they want more to join, so if you hear the broadcast and you live in Okinawa, come out. Join Power Soccer. Power Soccer is a great, great sport, as you can see. Uh, what has Power Soccer done for you, Dakota? Power Soccer has done many things for me. Uh, it's given me a good outlet. Um, it's helped a lot with... Um, stuff. Random. Power Soccer is a great sport. A lot of outlets for is. a community to be it built. Is. Right? You build lots of friends. Absolutely. Learn to sport. Teamwork. We're all, we're all friends here. That's right. It's one huge community. Yeah, definitely. On the court, it's fierce competition. Outside, it's love, admiration. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. Yes. All of those things combined. Yeah. It's a great place to be a part of. And once again, uh, the America's Cup Champions Cup is uh, presented by Fernando Foundation. You know a little bit about them. A little bit. I've been involved with them for a few years. A lot of the teams you see here were started by the Fernando Foundation. Is that yeah, accurate? They were. Um, the Fernando Foundation goes around and does clinics and builds teams. And I believe a number of these teams were a result of those uh, clinics that they had. That's right. Yourself, uh, you were a result of one of those clinics. Is that right? Yeah, I was. Uh, they came to a summer camp that I used to attend when I was younger. Twin Lakes, some yeah, cat Twin Lakes. Lakes. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Camp Twin Lakes. Yeah, beautiful place. I think half of the Synergy players are from Twin Lakes. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe half of the Tigers players from uh, Twin Lakes. So, yeah. <laughs> Power Soccer does. Um, Fernando Foundation does a great job of getting the word out of Power Soccer. You can't say enough about getting the word out. So, it looks like we have the chicken from Chick Fil A roaming the line. The, oh, that's the line. Cow. The Bobby. big cow. The Eat cow, more chicken. chicken. Eat more chicken. The cow <laughs> fighting for chicken. Yes, I like sir. it. So a couple of the other sponsors. Of course, we're broadcasting live on xable.com. A uh, great organization. Puts on a lot of um, events. Power soccer being one of them. A really great way to see the action at home, abroad, online. Plug it up to your big screen TV. Watch Power Soccer. It's a great, great sport. Uh, also, a couple of the sponsors, FITFA. This is a FITFA event, and it's sponsored by EDF and Invacare. And I, I talked to Case, who was with me uh, last game. That was also a blowout, in case you were wondering. It was uh, the Lightning versus Synergy. You scored two goals in that, in that uh, affair. Yeah. And um, we talked a little bit about the, the debate between Invacare chairs and uh, a quickie chair. I see you're in the Invacare chair. What are your thoughts? Invacare all the way. Uh, personally, I, I'm just not into quickies. I don't know. Never have been. I think Invacare performs better when you like play. It. Yeah. So performs better. 
speed, backing up, spinning? Well, yeah, the spinning definitely is a good aspect of it. But, you know, as you know, there's a speed limit for everyone. Of course. So don't really have that advantage. Um, I think that this chair backs up, uh, you know, a faster rate than other chairs. You know, that's within the rules there, and that's fine. Right. But it handles really well in those situations. I like it, Michael Archer with the shot across goal. Right, for Neil, looks like uh, maybe Circus City stepped off the gas a little bit. I, I don't know. I mean, they have four goals within three minutes. Yeah. So another uh, goal kick for the Thunder Chairs. Yeah. All right, so this is the fifth trip for the Thunder Chairs to the U.S. They uh, played previously in Phoenix. I was there. I yeah. remember that. Do you that. remember them? Yes. It was a different time back then. I it think was. I was coaching at that time. We had a great, great time in Phoenix. That was the tournament we took first place in, I believe. It was. If I could say that. <laughs> many, many years ago. Many years ago. Atlanta Synergy has back, grown a ton. Back then, weren't we called uh, the Shepherd Strikers? Yes, <laughs> Shepherd Strikers. So, if you don't know much about power soccer, it has evolved to the, what the oh. game you see here today. <laughs> it used to be played with a huge ball and more of a... I would say hockey, uh, basketball style, where there's blocking and screens are set and plays are designed. Really a slow-paced game. Yeah. Uh, not what you see today. Uh, what you see today is, is more of a soccer element. The ball being passed side to side, spread around, shots on goal. What do you think the difference of the two games is now, Dakota? I think the biggest difference is um, the accuracy that the players have to have. You know, before it was easier to just kind of take up space on the court and get in people's ways, but now it's totally different. You have to have a lot more precision. Um, you have to be able to drive your chair really well, definitely. I like it. Precision. Yeah. Accuracy with the chair. The ball smaller moves faster. Yeah, it does. It does. It moves a lot faster. So one of the biggest rule change that helped, you know, launch the sport is the two-on-one. Um, so two players uh, can't attack one player of the opposite team. It really helps to spread the floor. No more bunching of chairs. Um, <clears throat> keeps the ball moving. Keeps the flow of the game moving. And it's why you get a chance to see some of the great shots by Dakota Smith, Michael Archer, Pika, one of the best spinners, if you will. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, um, I guess the spin kicks. He definitely has the most power with those. So we weren't, we weren't able to see that before with our old game. <clears throat> some of the, the um, Canadian teams were some of the best at our old style of play. Um, but as we're seeing now, they've, they haven't progressed as much. Obviously, the Thunder Chairs are, are, uh, are being handled pretty easily by, by Circle City. But Circle City, if we're honest, is, is one of the top teams and probably has a chance to win this tournament. What do you think of that? I would say the chances of Circle City winning are quite high. Quite high. Quite. Who do you think is in the running to win this tournament, Dakota? Circle City. Who else? I think Synergy's going to be up there with them. I like it. We, uh, we saw Synergy just a moment ago defeat the Vancouver Lightning 5 0 scoring two goals in the first half and then three in the second half. You had uh, one goal in the first half and one in the second. All right, as you can see, the intensity coming from Mike Hayes, the, the Synergy coach, 4-0 at the 12-minute mark. He's not, he's not satisfied. No. Never satisfied. Never satisfied with 4-0. As Mike Hayes stomping his feet, intensity around every corner. What do you think it'd be like to play for a coach like him? Have you played for a coach like Mike Hayes? I have never played with uh, Mike Hayes. He's helped a little bit. Um, I think he was at some of the Team USA training camps, and he had input in a little bit of that stuff. But um, I would say he's a good leader. You know, I would feel confident playing uh, on his team. As you can tell, he's, uh, he's made his team one of the best teams in the nation, in yeah. the world. Really? Yeah, I mean, you got to think about that. You know, of all the championships, Circle City has won almost 
all of the ones that they've ever played in. I think, what what is it, three in the last four years? Yeah. Something like that, so. That says a lot, I think. I mean, can we say dynasty? <laughs> Maybe? I mean, that's a, that's a bold statement, but three of the last four national champions. Oh, and we have another goal by Casey with a sweet strike by Michael Archer across the face of the defense from one side to the other. Case puts it on goal. That's pretty easy. Case's job was pretty easy. Hey, get the guard on the ball, point it directly to the goal. As the referee keeps saying, uh, 15, or 15 goal, 32 assists. <laughs> That's right. I think it's the third one we've heard, assist by 15. And you'll notice Michael Archer, he might not score a ton of goals, but his assist ratio is so high. Already with three assists in this match. Um, if he scores a goal, it's kind of icing on the cake. Yeah. But, you know, he's definitely there, uh, you know, to hold his, hold his team together and help his players with their positioning. All right, a little whistling going on by the coach. Let's see what's, what's going to happen. Shouting at Grace. Grace, number 22 in the game. I was told earlier today she's one of the most improved players around the power soccer power soccer circles. Yeah. Would you agree with that? What do you think of, of, of Gracie and her uh, power soccer skills? Yeah, Grace is good. I think uh, she took a year off for school or something, but now she's back and full force. I like it. So, power soccer is a great sport, but obviously, you know, everyone's got to go to school, got to get an education, got to stay focused on what. Oh, nice shot. No goal for number 39. Let's see, who's number 39 of the Circle City? That is Kevin Perry. He's a new face to Circle City, is that right? Yeah, I've never seen Kevin. There you go, man. All right, Dakota, so Circle City, one of the toughest teams in the land. What are you looking for as you're watching this game? Checking out, here we go, another whistle. We're hearing whistles. I'm kind of glad we're right here checking out the whistle. It was only one whistle. I don't know what that means, one whistle. Sometimes he has one whistle, sometimes he has two. Uh, sometimes he holds up a, a sequence of numbers with his fingers. So it all means something. I like it. Five goals in, coaching it up. Grace, make sure your guard is faced in, ready to receive this pass from Michael Archer. Oh, ricochet! Whoo! Saved what could potentially be the sixth goal. All right, so Dakota, what are you looking for when you see Circle City come out? I try to look for their strategy. Um, they always seem to know what they're trying to do. You know, they never, none of the players ever look lost. And I think that's something that's unique to their team is that, you know, oftentimes you'll see other teams where, you know, someone isn't, as aware of you know their position and what they're supposed to be doing but circle city is they're always so cohesive with each other great word cohesive uh, obviously with great teams you have the chemistry of every great team knowing where the other player is kind of instinctively mm -hmm. um that comes over time yeah comes with lots of practice discipline i think is, is kind of the word i see when i when i think of a circle city team yeah i, w I would say that they're pretty disciplined I mean, Michael Archer, you never see him out of position. Never. Um, I mean, he practices by himself at home, so. <laughs> I like it. So, secret Nobody of the game, practice that. by yourself. You want to be an excellent athlete in power soccer, practice by yourself. Well, he's uh, just, you know, at practice with his team, and then when he goes home, he's out in the driveway just practicing his kicks and spinning and whatever. Well, diligence pays off. That I mean, kid definitely breathes and sleeps soccer. Oh, shot on goal by Case. By Grace. Another pass across. Grace trying to score. Oh, just missed it. Two excellent passes by Michael Archer. I think Grace could have put those in. She could have. I'm sure Mr. Hayes is going to get after her when this game's sure over. He has something He's to say not going to forget those two shots that she missed. Just wait till halftime. So, I uh, had a chance to talk with uh, Mr. Hayes, um, not Mr. Hayes, I'm sorry, with Case while we were watching the Synergy game. Mm -hmm. Just talked about how precise the team is. You know, every shot, every goal, every pass is very, very important. Key, nice pass across to Mr. Perry from Mr. Archer. No goal. Oh, let's see what we're looking like. 
Call is against Michael Archer. Roughing, something like that. So we've seen really nothing out of the Thunder Chairs. I mean, they've been on their heels the whole game. Not much. We're about to end this half 5-0, Dakota. What are your thoughts on this first half? Um, I mean, they're putting forth the effort. But um, I see over here on their fact sheet that they have three players that are um, from the Division Two. So, you know, that might have a little bit um, to do with it. You know, some of their players might be a little less experienced or, you know, at that skill level. That's a great, great point. I mean, it's amazing, but the skill level is pretty high in Division One. Yeah. I mean, you have to be able to move it, maneuver your chair, know where your players are, be in the right spot. When you get that opportunity, strike when it comes your way. Yeah. You can't be slow. Uh if there's one thing about Division One, it's speed, speed, and accuracy. Absolutely, you have to be ready for everything. All right, so we're gonna vote player of the game at the end of the at the end of the game. But who do you think player of the half? From which team? Well, we're talking about the overall team, but uh, five zero. It's probably gonna be come from the Circle City team. I mean, I hate to give everything to Michael, but I think he just stands out, you know. Hey, well, great leaders stand out for sure. Michael Archer, one of the best leaders on the floor. Yeah. Uh, does it all. I mean, assists, defense, passing, controls where everyone's at. And, you know, one of the great things about Michael Archer is his sportsmanship. I like it. Yeah. What, uh, what about his sportsmanship stands out above everyone else? Well, you know, he's always really encouraging to his players. And I think that's really important is that, you know, sometimes when a team is having trouble, uh, some of their players will get upset with each other, you know, they might have rude words, but that is never come out of Michael. I've never seen him get upset. I like that. You bring up a huge point. I mean, that has a lot to do. Leadership, being positive. Can't be negative when you're on the floor. It, it exactly. translates. What a shot! Unbelievable. Michael Archer unleashes a vicious spin kick. Let's go! Just misses. Mr. Hayes getting after Grace. Grace, three, three opportunities, missed. All right, that's the end of our first half. Michael Archer and the Circle City Rollers dominating play. Uh, a couple goals from Case. Thunder Chairs have got to get there and work on something. We're gonna take a break, 5-0. We'll be back in a few minutes. I'm Javier Munoz with Dakota Smith, and we're on xable.com.